Gamers, welcome to PD, and this is my adventure. So, I'm, it's the first time I've ever said good morning, trainers. Ooh, it feels good, it feels good to be in the morning. Yeah, Clay Res Girl has given us a present. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, so we have fields. Yeah, we can claim reward with that. And let's have this be our first Pokemon. So, let's do that. Let's claim this reward. Okay, so this is a part of the TV event. That was the Sylveon fresh release and all that good stuff. Oh, that was a bad throw. I look tired. It's just I'm getting older. I'm getting old. Very funny. Day streak, happy Friday to you guys. We made it, we made it. Almost at the end of the week. Okay, it's not that good of an EV, but at least we got one. It's been a while since I've seen EVs. Speaking of which, Skarmory. Pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. Skarmory. Oh wow, you could barely hear There's actually music going on How you doing? How's the Fortnite? I think we're gonna turn off the music. I'm grinding on Fortnite, yeah. Apparently that's something that you gotta practice in order to get good at it. But I'm already a musician, so I don't really have that motivation. Uh, that motivation's um, expended. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna turn off the music. I don't know why it auto saves that every time, but let's do some Pika. It always resets my sound settings. But uh, let's see what Chris has to say. Yeah, it's good. It's good that you've been playing with your friends. You know, do that, man. Live your life. I mean, I'm just doing Pokemon's because I like Pokemon's. I'm here. It's like a vlog. Anybody who checks in, that feels good to have a good conversation with. If not, you know. This is my tired... How you doing, man? Can you hear me? I don't even, I don't even know if you can hear me. Come on, Pika. There you, go. you will gift me right now. I'm okay. I don't know if I've... I've even received or sent anything. Gotta go, I will be back. Okay. Well, I'll be here. I'll be catching my daily Pokemons. You know, I think I'll... Ooh, a C dot. C dot, C dot, C dot. There's not my... my... my berry...ness. I hope one of these can become a shift tree one day. We got a gotcha. Let's see, we'll get the ghastly. Yeah, I'll use a planet berry on that one too. Hopefully it'll catch. I was doing that ghosty ghosty dance. It says my stream connection is not stable. Hopefully it becomes stable soon. Because it's been having a knack for not um being that reliable.
you know, I don't really get many Pokemon on my walks anyway, so I might actually just enjoy my walks with, uh, without looking at a phone, you know? But I do watch a lot of YouTube videos. For some reason, political commentary, but, like, I wish I didn't like that stuff. I don't know why I like it so much. You know, guys like stick heck, Sticks, Hex, and Hammer and all them. That guy seems to be very insightful with his, with his stuff. With his political leanings and all that stuff. It, it, it's good to know that there are people that are very, um, on top of it and intelligent and come up with good thoughts. It's refreshing because there's a lot of thoughtless people in this world. But, uh... Man, this has tired me talking. I'm, like, trying to not fall asleep while standing up. I had a bad dream last night that I was replaced by somebody. It's the worst feeling in the world. I've, it's happened to me multiple times, so... Yeah, someone like me should be used to it, but I, I never... Just hope it's not a premonition, you know, if, if, if the whole notion of being replaced is just me drawing from my past and it's not a premonition. We got a lot of Nancy candies. Yeah, we're gonna release that mudkip for the fodder. Yes. Yes. Alright, we got the field. Oh yeah, we could do the dooves. What else am I doing? I'm like, blah, right now. Oh, you know what? In hindsight, I should have started with Bidoof. Oh, did I miss the Bidoof day? I think... Oh, wow, Barbara's still in the gym. She'll get kicked out. It's okay. That's so good. I, I, can, I don't have to claim reward for anything just yet so let me get my raspberries let me claim my doof yeah I think yeah I, it's gonna take me a longer time to get Bidoof then hopefully everybody gets their golden doof <laughs> golden doof doof and schmertz their golden doof at the end of the Bidoof run. If that matters, you know. It's like getting a golden magic card. That's not a bad one. By Barrel. And then we'll get the other doof. Oh, it's night turned into day, just like that. A nice curveball, nice throw. We got, we're getting the Bidoof stuff taken care of, you know? Specifically this Bidoof. Oh, that's not that good. Uh, we could transfer that, and then we can claim reward for this, these guys. I don't know what the 399 means. Is it the, is that the Pokemon number? Yeah, it could be, yeah, that sounds about right. 399 sounds like that's the Pokedex number of Bidoof. I think that's why it's 399. I just got it. Yesterday I was asking myself, what does the 399 XP mean? Because I, I know that there's something to it. Like, I know that there's some kind of numerology that they're playing with. 399. Because Gen 4 Arceus is like 493. I don't know why I remember that. Probably something to do with action replay cheat codes and me re remembering how many Master Balls I need in my inventory in order to catch a shiny Arceus in Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> how I remember that, I have no idea. But let's start this encounter. Let me guess. It's a Bidoof. Nice. Alright, well, let's see what we got. If this is a Hundo Doof...
We could evolve it into the barrel. By barrel. See, that's not bad. It's, it's uh, you know, got moderate HP, but it's overall stats are pretty good. It was a weasel. Well, let's see what Willow has to say. Welcome back, Petey. Hopefully, you got a few good snapshots of Bidoof while conducting your research. I always enjoy seeing the snapshots of trainers of Pokemon. The trainers... Sorry. I always enjoy seeing the snapshots trainers take of Pokemon. And I can never get enough of Bidoof. What a goof. Now, according to the research request we received, we must choose to focus on our efforts. On a Pokemon that has nerves of steel, or a Pokemon that nests alongside water. I know what you're thinking. Choosing between Bidoof and Bidoof isn't easy. But then again, the most important research rarely is. Nerves of steel... By choosing this Bidoof, you'll encounter countless Bidoof and all the fun times that comes with them. Nerves of Water. By choosing this Bidoof, you'll basically become a Bidoof magnet. <laughs> Choose a path. I like his goofy face in this one, so let's do Nest Near Water. Choose a path. You know, I bet they're they're testing out something new with like choosing your own special path. Choose a path. Bidoof. Or Bidoof. Transfer ten Pokemon, take a snapshot of Bidoof, catch ten Bidoof. I wish I would have known. Would have done this yesterday. Well this is gonna take a while then. Transfer ten Pokemon. We could definitely do that one. Uh, so we could probably catch this Buizel. I was hoping that it would give me, like, a water type, but that's okay. Ah, oh, hindsight, hindsight, hindsight. I could have, I could have used a pineapple berry. I don't really see Buizel that often. We got a CP41 on that boy. On that girl. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let's see what he's got to say. You choose Bidoof, eh? I doubt it. I never doubted it for a second. Bidoof is often lived in groups by the water where they make their nests. Nests. I recall that the barrel, Bidoof's evolution, makes its nest by damming streams with bark and mud. River dammed by Bibaro. Uh, will never overflow its banks, which is fascinating by people nearby. Which is appreciated by the people nearby. Fascinating, don't you think? So they're not an abrasive, uh, predatory Pokemon, I guess. A, a species. Gotcha. Centret. Let's appraise the centret. Alright, we gotta do pan pour. Now, this is one that definitely needs a pineapple berry, because. I think we almost have a, a close to hundo Pokemon on uh, Panpour. I don't think we'll make it into a, a Simipour anytime soon. Let me see if I got the candies readily available for that. Okay, we do, actually. Okay. Just not as much as I had hoped. I'm assuming it's not going to be used for much. Okay, so we got two Pokemon transferred. We still are seeing some ghost types. What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? I'm actually up in the morning today. <laughs> I'm surprised with myself. 
We're so close to the 1500 gems, but I feel like I need to go a little bit further with that. I need to get a pocket juice. That's really what I need to order. They're like 30 bucks on Amazon. Ooh, an Alolan Geodude. I don't see those every day. Is this what happens when you actually wake up in the morning? I'll use a pineapple berry on this because there are a lot of geodudes that are worthy of my evolutionarily uh, being of a good boy. Now I should catch more Pokemon from my house. Going from my car is a pain in the ass. But there's no Poke Stops nearby. This is why I'm so conflicted, Chris. It's good to see you, by the way. It's Friday. I'm gonna do some uh, questing. I'm gonna do some questing. We could do some dungeoneering. Yeah, you got work today. I gotta find a job. Oh wow, I almost got 600 Charmander candies. I just need three kilometers. See, it's raining out. I should be walking. But I don't know if I want to get my phone wet, even though it's water resistant. And the last time I did it yesterday, it was like really crap, crappity, crap, crap internet. And I didn't really get much done other than just me trying to get service. Like, there, there was not enough, like, Pokemon to justify the walk. And there wasn't a Pokestop at the end of, it, end of that walk. And... Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the service sucked. The internet always sucks around here. It's always, it's where I live specifically. Like, let's make sure that wherever Petey lives, let's fuck up the internet. Let's do that. You know, he needs to get outside more. <laughs> or he needs to interact with nature more. That's really what it is. Technology is not going to be reliable around where I live. Okay, battle against my flying type Pokemon. So yeah, I could probably do that. I'll just do a max revive on Kyogre. I don't really want to think too hard about... Come on. Max revive, there you go. There's a bit of a lag. Ooh, a Starly. A cute little Starly. Okay, then we're gonna get into the next one. The Team Rocket Go battle update? What are you talking about? Belly flop, belly flop, belly flop, belly flop, belly disc, underway. Right, we're, gonna, we're gonna beat this gold bat. Then we're gonna finish off the next one. It might be a crow bat at the end. I'm going to the thunder. Thunder. Fuck you, thunder. It's raining outside. We got the rain, rain clouds. Ooh, didn't we take out the crowbat? I look disappointed in myself. Alright, well, we'll finish it off with our speed. Yoink, 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 yoink. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Excellent check. Oh, I gotta do Duolingos today. Holy crap. Yeah, I had a bad dream. You ever get those bad dreams? About, like, people betraying you? It's not the best feeling. So, I need, I need praise. Praises. I need to, to be prayed for. In hopes I could feel better. <laughs> <sighs> but we'll rest, guys. <sighs> I feel like some of these shadow Pokemon sometimes get all grumpy. With good reason. Something happened to them that made their hearts close. If only it were easy to see the dark aura around, around uh, Pokemon. Or around people. You know, actual people. If we could see... You know, the physical 
manifestation of anger of, or something like that. You know how prosperous we would be as a society? Because we're, we're shallow with our, our ways of seeing. Okay, so I'm going to blue balls this haunter because I'm saving it for uh, this one ghastly that I'm going to evolve into a haunter and then a Gengar to get the new Pokemon double XP goodness, the juice. And I got to make sure it's on a good sunny day with nothing else other than just me walking and enjoying my life. <laughs> and, getting, and I have a charger ready for that too so yeah wow I could do troubling situation with the rare candy I won't though I think that's everything I wanted to do oh wait let me do some sugar exchange for the for the babes for the sugar babies crist yeah I didn't send him anything what am I doing here oh he's got a he, look at that he's got a shiny big chunky regigigus regigigigigus goo 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 Hey, what's up, clashing? Are you being clashed? I don't know what I mean. I'm kind of, I'm kind of melancholy about the Bidoof day. It just kind of came and went. Like it's like, what's what's going on? But I'm I'm gonna reward Chris and uh, his sister with the cotton candy. Ponyta. That's the cutest name. I swear to God. I wouldn't have thought of... I don't know why I wouldn't have thought of Cotton Candy as a... As a as a name. But she gets... She gets a Bidoof with a ribbon. For for having that nice nickname for her. Galarian Ponyta. I would have done something like Pinkie Pie. Or like Trixie. You know, the Marvelous Trixie or whatever her name is. <laughs> something like that. But, uh... That's cute. That's cute. I know he doesn't like his sister's username, but she has a good nickname for her Ponyta, so that 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 saves it for me. Uh, let's see. Let's do Ethan. Ethan. It's been a while since we've seen Ethan. He's got that shiny gibble. Clashing. You. I should, yeah, I should send you some sugar clashing. I've lost control of my life. That's why I'm up this early. I can tell who's from the East Coast. Or not from the, uh, or from way, way out East. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I get a lot of, uh, Indian fans and friends who are, uh, out, uh, around this, up and at them at, around this morning, time of day, because, you know, they're further on, it's probably like noon there, or something like that, whereas, like, the West Coast people, I think, is that four hours, yeah, it'd be like, 1 p.m. for them, wow, yeah, I mean, a lot of night owls, I think, would, would appreciate the Pokemons, you know, that might be something. Ooh, let's get Landon. We're going to be close to best friends, too. Him and I. Arlington, Texas. Pika. Pika, Pikachu. Pika. Ooh, he's got a shiny glass voice. So I'm going to give him a water type in exchange. A Nancy. Hopefully it sends. Yeah, okay. Took a while to. Yeah, I'm like tempted to like... Oh, here you go. Here's Clashing. 
I will send you your sugar. We're going to be great friends soon, man. We're going to be great friends. And I'm going to give you a Pikachu sticker. A sleepy Peaky is what I call it because it's tired. Just like me right now. I have a friend who's like, tells me Snorlax is my, my spirit Pokemon. <laughs> like a spirit animal. But, uh, I don't get, uh, I feel like I'm more like Munchlax, if anything. Because I always binge eat whenever I, uh, have abandonment issues or something like that. Alright, then we're gonna send something to Joy. We're gonna send the Bidoof. 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 But we are... I'm just so tapped out, man. Like, <laughs> there's so many presents. Alex Rivas. Uh, do we do the... Do I favor the girl over the main account with Alex Rivas? <laughs> I'm gonna... He's got two accounts. He, he can wait with the other one. Even though she's a cute girl, I must know that it's a... It's probably a dude. <laughs> it's normally a dude. <laughs> That's how I, that's what I have to tell myself. It's like, oh, the avatar's hot. Yeah. But then you gotta realize they're just regular people. It's how they get you, too. It's like, and you know there are a lot of people who are, like, thinking it. And there are a lot of girls that are just like, oh, is that really true? And then the guy's just like, oh, I don't know what, I'm t I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> And then they just, you know, they play dumb. I'm like, you know, this is the reason why guys, like, play certain games. is because, like, really the deciding factor was, is she a hot girl or not? That's really it. I don't think that's, like, the deciding, deciding factor, but it's like, you know, it's kind of like if you see, like, a, a shiny whatever Pokemon... Like, if you, if you were to point out, like, the best Pokemon, that, like, out of all the orange Magikarps, you see the one golden one, your eyes go to that, automatically. Just like a hot girl. You see all these video games being flown at your face? You see a hot girl, it's like you're gonna go for that. Which is why I'm glad the, <laughs> the transition to RS3... For you RuneScape fans, they made all the girl characters a lot hotter <laughs> in result. And I, and I think that's what sells. You know what I'm talking about, Chris. You know what I'm talking about. It's like, they... Actually, funny thing. Funny thing about that. The... What was I going to say? I was, I was on, like, the RuneScape Facebook... Years ago, like I, it had to be like 2013, 2014. It's like she, there was, it was a girl who pointed out, like, damn, those titties are big. Like, with the, with the, <laughs> no, this is a bit crass, but it's like, and kind of inappropriate for uh, YouTubes and Pokemons and stuff, but it's like she pointed it out. And how ridiculous that is, is like just describing the girls. Like, damn, these girls are hot. And it's like, see, I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to say that they they clearly made the, the, the girl avatars less boyish and more like, damn. Because it's like, they know what sells. It's like, it's like, oh, that catches. At the very least, it catches a guy's eye or even a girl's eye more so because it's like, even with, like, Dragon Ball Z, you know, it's like, we don't, you're not gay if you're, like, if you're, if you're into, like, Goku being all buff and stuff, it's like, you know, that's more of, like, an honor thing, like, he really worked hard to get where he is, and it's, like, it's a goal to aspire to, I suppose, and I think that's what a lot of girls look at, uh, uh, you know, hot RuneScape girl avatars, or like any of the girl characters in Pokemon Go. It's like, ah, oh, yes, that's an ideal to, that's an ideal to aspire to. Or, 
all women are just secretly lesbians and they're not willing to admit that. Like, even this, like, Aqua Loves Farts account. Okay, she kind of has a bag over her. I don't like the, I don't like the shirt for that, but that's a bad example. And she's got, like, a green espion, so that's kind of weird. But, like, still, the girl is cute. Like, the girl avatar is just cute, you know? And this is why cosmetic surgery is, like, on the rise. I'm not going to pretend, either, that it's, like, that's there's no correlation. It's, like... It'd be nice, though. It'd be nice if there was more acceptance with, with... Like, I wish I could, like, pray the gay away on, like, what I'm into. I really wish I could. But, like, I can't. It's, like, impossible. Because that's, that's what it feels like. It's like pr praying the gay away, man. <laughs> I wish I could. I don't know why I'm talking about this while I'm playing Pokemons. But, but it, it came up. Oh, you know what it is? It's like... Okay. And I'm going to do this specifically with a girl account. Because it's Play Res Girl. If Play Res is a girl, I apologize, but, like, that's Alex Rivas. Alex is a gender-neutral name, so I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. But, like, you see, like, the contrast, the the optical illusion, the, the whitish hips. I mean, this is Anita Sarkeesian analysis right here, but, like, from a guy's perspective, it <laughs> the thing is, though, is it's, like, she says it's, like, a really, really awful thing to, like, look at girls like that. But it's, like, yeah, but, like, you've never been a guy before. We think objectively because we build bridges and roads and, like, we construct things. Like, engineers. You know, like, <laughs> if you build civil... If your whole thing is building civilization, and that's what you've been doing for thousands of years... Yeah, you're going to think of everything in your life as objective sometimes. Not everything, but, you know, that's the natural tendency. It's like, you got to understand that looking at this, this structure, is like, it's what built civilization, man. It, the the fact that I'm, I'm uh, I looking at this, you know, fine specimen of a avatar, and I'm only pointing this account out specifically because this girl is like I'm pretty sure this is owned by a guy this is a second gear, secondary account to a guy's account and a lot of trainers do that hey what's up clashing we're, we're <laughs> I'm having the most interesting conversation with myself right now so I apologize if I weird you out or any of that but it's like I'm trying to be real because I've tried everything else, and it's it's not worked, so I'm just going to be my real, authentic self. Why do they make... My open question for you YouTube Pokemon folks is, why do they make the girls so hot in Pokemon Go? And not even just Pokemon Go. Like, you get a lot of humbly hotness, like, the, the in, in, like, some of the, uh, mainline games, too, like, uh, Wiki... Wiki, I'm I'm a wiki type of guy. That's that's what I'm into. The the uh, the milf looking lady with the glasses from the Alola region. But like, why do they do that? Why do they make the girls hot? Is is my open ended question. Ah, oh, Phoenix ten X ten thousand. That's a cool name. We're gonna get his sugar because he is Papa. But that is an open-ended question. I'm not going to get any comments for this video. It's fine, because I do too much of this YouTube live streaming stuff for anybody to, like, pay attention. And, you know, there's just a flurry of, like, shadow banning and algorithmic fuckery that I, it's like... I'm just doing this for my own self uh, self-enjoyment and fulfillment and all that good stuff. Just because, yeah, I don't know. If it's, it's something to do. It's something to do. During the pandemic, 
during the pandemic it was something to do. But I'm thinking about moving on from it if I'm going to be building a life or something. You know, that thing adults do. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Eventually I have to. It's like, I feel like I'm doing everything I can. Like I'm doing all the side questing stuff before I finish the game. And I just... It's its like the video... I had a friend actually in high school who was like... He, he really loved the game The World Ends With You. So much so that he never finished it. Like he's just like, I can't finish it. It's too good of a game. And I get like that with like everything in my life. Oh, my, yeah, he's got a Bidoof hat, that's cool. And he's got a Quilava. See, this is why... Oh, wow, he's g giving me a Trico. Is he, is that from a pub? An alcoholic? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Are we, okay, now we're, we're gonna be, um, ultra friends sooner than later. Hopefully, but we're gonna actually let's do Mike H. Oh, you know what? Let's let's get this one. Going top decking here. I forgot what point I was making. Cause I I I just remembered I was just talking about like, why do they make girl avatars so hot in video games? Oh. I guess it's because traditionally, and not even just traditionally, still now, even with all the girl power, you know, bullcrap that you see on the news media and stuff like that, you know, it, it's, men are still like the number one consumers of video games. Probably because real life sucks for them, because, like, if you were a hot girl, you didn't have to, like... Like, everything's pretty much handed to you like a video game. Oh, oh, I don't remember what I was saying. You know, I feel like I'm just kind of doing all the side questing, you know, in my life. And getting all the side questing stuff out of the way before I continue on with the mainline game. But the thing is, is like, you age. And I was talking, oh, okay, I remembered. I was talking about a friend of mine who was playing The World Ends With You. Yeah, it's, it's a good game, apparently. I've never played it. I mean, I, I only know the Dream Drop Distance story from Kingdom Hearts crossover with with them. But other than that, I don't really know anything else other than the fact that, like, it was, uh... It's a good game, apparently. Square, you know, Square Enix is not a, is not a bad game. Some people will say that Squaresoft was better. It was better when it was just Squaresoft, and they left the Enix games out of it. But, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, you know, just leave those arguments for stupid forms. I hate how it's, like, now about, like, oh, you gotta think this way, or if you don't think this way, you know, that's it. And then you die. That's how it is with raids here, with the Pokemon universe. It's like, oh, well, this part of the Pokemon multiverse. It's just, oh, you got any raids? You got raids? You got some raids? You know, I feel like I've, I've heard raid so many times on just my stream that I want to play raid Sh Like, I feel like I should be sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend or something like that. They're not even paying me to mention them. I'm never going to play that fucking game, because it's just like, no. I'm never going to play it. If you pay me a thousand bucks a month, I'll think about it. But like, ooh, ooh we got a King's Rock, ooh. Wow, a little advanced. But I don't think I'm ever, ooh, he's got an unknown, when the fuck did he get an unknown? And it's a shiny one at that. Oh, get, get into that Ruins of Alf shit. God damn. How do you get a... How do you get an unknown? How do you get an unknown? I, I really don't... I, what is that? An O? I think it's an O. 
that he was uh, looking at. Let me scroll. Let me see if we got some presents. Uh, can Let's see gifts. Okay, we still got some stuff. Oh, wow. They're all... Oh, see, look at this. I can't even... I don't even have a life. At the, I can't... I can't have a life at this point. Oh, here's me memes, friend. I like how me memes friend is more dedicated <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to sending me Pokemon stuff than me meme himself. He's got a life. He's got to do stuff. This is for people without lives, and I'm proud to be in that category. Cause you know, in real life, when you get betrayed, and you know nobody wants to consider you a, a friend anymore. What else is left other than the Pokemons and cute bunnies that will love you whenever you pet them? That's really the name of the game. It's like, life sucks, and that's why you play video games. And that's the moral of the story, kids. I'm pretty sure I, I solved the, the issue here. That's why a lot more people are drinking now. But I'm, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying go do that, you know, because it's, it's not good. But I would say this is like the new cigarette, you know, just being on, just being on a phone and, and playing Pokemons. Because you get that lotto dopamine hit and it, it, like right now, I don't have any like pleasure response from this anymore. But it's addictive, you know? But I say it's fun in the sense that I get to talk to you guys about it. And, you know, hopefully it's not too depressing. <laughs> What's up, Ju Did Juliana? Ju so how do you say your name? Juliana? With a D in front of it. That's a cool last name. It's a cool last name. What is that? What nationality is that? Is that Italian? Also, give me a follow, man. Give me a follow. Give me a, a subscription. Give me that dopamine hit. For some reason, I can't get past 412 subscribers, and I need to get to, like, 500 by the end of the summer. That's going to be my goal. End of the summer... Yeah, well, uh, my my trainer code is in the description down below. If you would ever be so kind for me to, uh, oh, it's Serbian. Yeah, Juliana, like with a D in front of it, that doesn't look Italian. Oh, and you know what? It would be with a J. It would be with or not not a J. It would be with a G. Yeah, it would be a G I. G I U Juliana. Of course, why would I, how would I know that? Or, not how would I know that, it's like, of course I would know that. Like, that's a thing. But, uh, Serbian, pretty cool. What is, what is life like in the Serbian places? Tell me about it. You get some, I don't know what they do in Serbia. Do they... Like, like, what's, what do you do there? What? I didn't know Gliger came in purple. I know it's a shiny, but I didn't know it's shiny was purple. I actually like that Gliger. If Gliscor looks any similar to that, I might consider getting a, uh, shiny Gly Gliscor. Your back. Your neck. Alright, well, I'll send you some introductory sugar when I get a gift later on in the day, but I'm collecting my presents right now. I have... Actually, you live in Germany. You know, I heard something about them, like, erecting a statue in Germany. It was like a statue of, like, Vladimir Lenin. You know, like, one of the founding fathers of communism, basically. I don't understand that. 
Like, explain that to me. Like, why during the... And this was last year. During the summer of, like, just demolishing statues, basically. Why would they do that? Like, the... <laughs> erect a statue of a guy who's pretty much responsible for bringing in a, a, poli a toxic political situation that has only just killed tens of millions of people than it has helped, you know, just regular middle class people get their fair share. I don't know. I don't mean to get political. God damn it. I always get political here. It's part of my life, I suppose. I just wish I was, uh, because of bad history. Yeah, but like, you know, with the whole slavery here around here in the U.S., it, it's like, that's the whole argument with, like, keeping up, uh, what's his name? Robert Lee. Ro uh, Robert Lee, uh, from the Confederates of the United States. It's like, that makes more sense to, like, keep him up. Just for the context of history. Oh, oh, nice. We got... Another rocket. We will get the rocket. Wow, we really are stacked with the items, yo. And Kyogre died again. In Germany, we talk about schools and that stuff, too. It's good to know. Go, my super bug Pokemon. Alright, well, let's go murder them. Do you guys talk about, like, the Holocaust and stuff like that? Because I was mentioning that to my therapist yesterday. About, about, uh, we had a conversation about it. Talk about how bad it was. Well, that's good. See, we do that in our schools, too, about how bad slavery was and how it was every single white person's fault. Even Europeans that came in after the Civil War. It, it's my fault. It's, it's directly my fault. Why, why I'm bad. And that, that's basically critical race theory, I think. Pretty sure that's what they're trying to get, get across here. A bee drill. Oh, this is a quadruple weakness to steal, I think, right? Yeah, 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 we swept that, yeah, we are big pee-pee Heatran over here, he's got the girth, he's got the girth, he can withstand <laughs> all of that, um, but yeah, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of bad history, I, I just don't, I don't understand, like, the erecting the statue of a of a bad person, like, in the, like, do you see kind of the hypocrisy in world history, where it's just like, here we go, this country, here's like, demolishing statues related to slavery, because it was bad, and I, I suppose it's a contradicting ideal of like, like, the whole statue thing is like, oh, it's history, but yeah, history belongs in a museum, but... I don't know. It, it's that whole debate all over again. I seriously think, you know, it's just a... It's a piece of rock. Or it's a piece of copper. Or metal. Yeah, I'll accept your friend request. I'm sorry. I'm holding you hostage right here. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? Oh, I should have used a pineapple berry. Because I got an anorith that could have be evolved. And it could be an armaldo at this point. Hold on. All right. I'm basically venting right now about, like, the world. Now, I just think, I, I don't know, you see kind of the irony where it's like there's, last year was like the summer of building statues, or sorry, destroying statues. Even, like, Abraham Lincoln got va vandalized. And it's like, what the hell? What the frick? You, you, uh, I forget who else. 
Andrew Jack, not Andrew Jackson, Thomas Jefferson, maybe. This is why I never liked the musical Hamilton. It's okay. Here we go. We're going to use a super potion on Rhea. And we'll use some regular potions. Top off some of our boys. Did that work on Cherry? Okay. Oh, I could have used a super potion. Society's mad about statues like that. You're right. Well, I forget who, um, who was the founder of it? I think that, I'm not sure if it was Lenin or if it was Marx, but I, I think there's actually, like, you can visit the cemetery, and you actually have to pay to get in for admission. So, they, <laughs> in order to visit the communist, one of the communist founders, I'm pretty sure it was Marx. It's too early for me to, to think about that stuff right now, but, like, I think it was Karl Marx, and in order to, like, see this communist leader, or, or founder, you had to use capitalistic ways of doing so to get priority. It's like, oh, okay, supply and demand. Right, okay. That was the thing you were against. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just like that, that type of uh, uh, justice. Karmic justice right there. Even in death, capitalism still worked better for, for you. <laughs> and I'm not even just a hardcore capitalism capitalist. There are some elements of like uh, predatory, you know, like... like we we just have too many too many appeasements for like multinational corporations that have goods that like you know it's like it's like if you're pro capitalist a hundred percent you know you you're pro monopoly practically because it's not even just like alluding to just monopoly it's a monopoly. You, you know, they, they've avoided the textbook definition of monopoly, but it is, you know, oligopoly, technically. Germany wasn't that communist land. It's more democratic stuff, yeah. I mean, I always say, you know, Greek... Greece fell because of its democracy. And I think that's why the United States recognized... That um, you can't you can't be a true democracy because there's a lot of mob rule and voting on low information and high emotions, and there's you know you need to get representatives, and we'll be I'll be honest, man. Not a lot of smart people in here. You probably understand that bias at this point. You know, with with uh, United States citizens, you know, we're a lot of us are deemed to be stupid. And that's okay. I could front that whole thing. I'm I'm a proud stupid person. <laughs> but I'm not proud of being stupid. I just uh, I I just I don't know. Oh, let's go to combat power. There we go. Um but there's that's the stereotype, I suppose. You know, <laughs> the the assumption that Americans are just um all stupid. I don't know. It's pretty safe to assume because I, I get I'm constantly disappointed by how like I don't know thoughtless people are, populist people are. Even though like populist seems to have more positive connotations, I still think it's crappy to think in the realms of only pop culture and you know only what's cool. I was never for that. I mean, this has been 10 years of me talking about stuff like that, and I've, I've never been for the whole pop pop culture stuff. You know, populists, populism. Yes, I, I have accepted it. We have, uh, I already did it. 
Okay, let's go to. I'm, I'm gonna see where you're at, man. Yeah, you're already my friend. It's uh, it's gonna take you a bit to register. I gotta find you though. There you go. It's this guy. Julian, uh, Juliano. I got a ducklet. I like how the ducklet is like so far away from you. But yeah, this is you. Oh, we're being great friends. That'll give you a good boost, and hopefully it'll. Uh. Why do I have so many dislikes? What do you mean? My video has a lot of dislikes on it. Oh well. I don't know. Maybe I said something uh, misogynistic earlier. That's okay. I get. I get. And it's. It could be something like you know. I mentioned something political, and I have like my actual political leanings, and it could just be like an auto detect dislike bot thing to really ratio me. Or I'm actually a piece of shit, which I'm fine with that, you know? Wouldn't be the first time that people berate me. So, it's it's all good. I don't know, man. I'd like to think I'm an okay kind of guy. I'm a good old stand-up guy, doing my, doing my Pokemons, doing my good things. But, you know. I can't guarantee raids. I just can't guarantee raids. It, it's a... Uh, I need to buy like 10 phones. I need to like pay, you know, a hundred million dollars a month to have cell service provided to all of those 10 mm -hmm. phones. And I just need to have no life. That's, that's, that's basically it. I just need to have no life. And Pokemon has to be my life. That's what I got to do. Because the geolocating app... That, that is like, you gotta worship it like it's a god. Arceus is the new god. There's nothing else beyond the, the Aether Foundation. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just, it's too early for me to like, have a filter. And if I see, I think it's because I was talking about for like, for like 10 to 20 minutes. Might have been. T I'm not sure if it was ten to twenty minutes or if it was like a solid couple of minutes. <laughs> this time seems to fly, fly pa uh, fast for me. But I was talking about how the the hot girl avatars on Pokemon are like. You know why do they have to make the the characters so hot? You know you you know what I'm saying. Like it's like. See, look, the character, like, the the girl character, you even see, like, the cute blue eyes and the, the, the nice hair and stuff. It's like, I understand it's, like, anime girl stuff. You know, it, it's, like, shallow in some, in some realms. But it's like, man, I understand why, why it's, it's a thing. But, like, come on, come on. Oh, we're almost best friends, me and Ruby. But, like, come on, man. Look at that. I, I just can't... And that's also... A lot of these accounts are like guy accounts, too. They're just guys that want to, like, look at the hot girl. <laughs> I've seen a lot of profiles out there on forums where, like, the guys always have, like, a hot girl as a picture because it's, like... I don't know. It's something like dressing... <laughs> it's like, you know, uh, dress like you want to... Uh, Dress in the outfit that you want to work for or something like that. And like a business you want to be in. Oh no, it's like dress for the job position that you want. So if your job position is hot girl. Does that mean you don't have to do anything? Alright, we're going to kiss this ghastly. We got too many Pokeballs and Great Balls. This is the problem with having too many friends on Pokemons. How many dislikes do I have? I, I can't check right now, but how many do I have on this video? So I know which topics that YouTube likes and dislikes. Watch, I'll, I'll mention, okay. Well, ooh, that's a big peepee. -pee. 
you down bad. Does that mean I'm bad or like with with like me looking at the girls or like or you mean the ratio? All right, I'm gonna. That's a big. You know what? This that those stats are pretty good. So I'm gonna dub it. Uh, big PP. There you go. It has big PP. I don't know if I'm gonna evolve that one. I probably could. I could probably have a team of two Gengars ready for that. I might, yeah, I might put that on the evolution list because it's uh, good enough to evolve for me. See, it's going to eventually become a Haunter and then a Gengar. But I do have a better one that's more worth it. Three dislikes. Holy shit. What did I do? Is it because it's so early in the morning? Oh my god. Well, be sure to give a like and a subscription to help save me here. God forbid. Well, at least if I like my own video, I could, like... That'll still be effective. You know how some people like their own statuses? Because, you know, nobody else does. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm in that... I guess I'm in that category. Am I just an easy target? Is that why people don't like me? Eh, it's okay. I won't, I won't take it too personally. But, uh, you know, it that's some stuff I think about. It's like, hmm, did I, did I really deserve that? A dislike? Come on. What does a dislike do? I didn't even... You know, the only reason I dislike some people is because they're if they're doing something that's completely against humanity. That's the only reason I dislike a video or dislike somebody. If they're misleading or they're disliking or if they're completely against humanity in the sense that they're only interested in themselves don't get me wrong we all have self-interest like you know if i could make pokemon monies on the pokemons through people buying merch and stuff that would be kind of cool maybe i should do a merch store if i get enough subscribers but it's you know i suppose you have you can't be fully selfless when trying to uh trying to have this type of a business thing entertainment business stuff uh i would love to trade but unfortunately we are not right next to each other physically and um we have to be physically close to each other in a, not in an intimate way okay no homo but like you have to be here in, with our phones if we want want to trade because otherwise it doesn't work uh, you could battle remotely but for some reason you can't trade remotely and I think maybe it's their fail safe because I don't want to uh, be responsible for scams because they're I, I could see you know predators hmm <sighs> Not just like creepy, the creepy type of predators, but the type of scammer predators that con like younger kids into the Pokemons and and trading them and you know getting their account information and you know basically zeroing out their account with a bunch of junker Pokemon and taking all their Stardust away and I I can imagine that's why they don't do like remote trading or that's a way to coax people to interact with each other in a community and that's probably that's probably why I get so many or not so many dislikes this is the first time I've gotten three dislikes on a video <laughs> did I do something wrong did I offend I don't know I would love to trade man but um uh, you know, I'd like to have, to talk to everybody, like anybody who's subscribed to my YouTube's channel, I, I would like to meet them, like each and every one of you guys, because, you know, it's only like 412 or 413 of you guys, and obviously the three people we could, they could fuck off, I guess, <laughs> but, uh, the, I, I'd like to meet all of the individual individuals and stuff like that only thing is like 
I hear that there are, like, YouTube conventions and stuff like that, but would I really, like, would I really go to something like that and meet people? That's the other thing, too, is, like, I actually have to meet people. And, like, if they're just like, oh, you suck in person. It's like, okay, thanks. You know, like, it could end up being, like, the worst experience in my life. So, I don't know, man. This is, these are things that I talk about when I'm sleepy. And it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm playing Pokemon. I don't know, look back. Did I say something offensive earlier? Because I never know if I do. I'm going to look at my outfits. Can I get a Bidoof hat? A Bidoof hat? Look at that blue-eyed looking fuck. Look at this guy. I want to punch him. Can you actually get a beard in this game? Because I seem to have a beard more often than not. I'm going to go. Sorry, but have a great day. Yeah, you have a great day too, man. I think I'm, I pretty much did what I wanted to do. It's nice meeting you too. Hopefully we can chat some other time. And this is, uh, this isn't just a one-off, you know. I, I enjoyed our conversation and, uh, you know, I hope you, uh, you know, you live a merry life, my friend. And make sure to give a like so I can ch help my ratios out. Crazy, crazy. Why would you dislike me? I would say comment at least. I would say comment, you know, to, to say what I said wrong. Then I'll pretend cry and make an apology video like most of the famous YouTubers. That would be fun. That would be great. But we got 750,000 XP. So that's a, that's a good solid number to stop off. Rest our hat on. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. I, I think I'm going to sign off too. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I hopefully like the video because apparently there's three people that don't like me. <laughs> or maybe there's one person with three accounts that really just wants to stick it to me. And, you know, I'm willing to like be diplomatic and be like, what did I do wrong? Did I offend? Did I say the wrong thing? Just let me know. Because I don't know. I don't know when I offend people. And, and um... You know, if I... I don't know. I'm not going to, like, be all grovelly and apologize like that, though. So, i just like to know. What, what did I do? How can I change for you? But I'm not going to bend over backwards if I'm... If it's, like, a, clearly a, a, not something to be, like, that worried about. But anyways, let's uh, end the show. I, I can't say goodbyes. I really can't say goodbyes. But you guys have been awesome. Uh, let's see. Juliana with the, with the D from Serbia. Chris saying hello. Maxim. Oh, I think he was from yesterday. Uh, yeah. I gotta send Maxim some stuff. But yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I gotta make sure to send those guys some stuff. But I'll be on later tonight. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you guys are from the U.S. and the rest of your day, if, if you're, uh, out farther in the East, like Europe or India or somewhere else, you know? I'll catch this pitch. This will be the last thing. But I'm going to blue balls the haunter. Okay? All right. We're going to pretend that uh, this Pidgey didn't happen. Okay? It'll be our little secret. There's a big pity. There you go, kids. Come on, pity. Okay. We have a nice throw. See, whenever I end.